The Scots, or Scottish people, are a distinct ethnic group native to Scotland, a country in the northern part of the island of Great Britain. Among their ancestors were the Picts, Gaels, Britons, and the Norse. The Gaelic influence, in particular, came from Irish settlers who brought their language and culture, including the early use of the term Scot from the Latin Scoti. Scots are world-renowned for their traditional music, particularly the iconic Great Highland Bagpipe, an instrument with roots that may go back over a thousand years. Bagpipes have been used in everything from military ceremonies to folk festivals. The oldest continuously inhabited Scottish cities include Edinburgh, which is the political and cultural capital of the Scottish ethnicity. Stirling is another ancient Scottish city founded in 1124 AD, which is actually 20 years before the foundation of Moscow, the capital of Russia. Glasgow is an even more ancient Scottish city, founded in the 6th century, which is actually two centuries earlier than the foundation of the ancient Russian city of Rostov, although two centuries later than the foundation of Kiev. Kenneth MacAlpin is traditionally considered the first king of Scots, uniting the Picts and Gaels in the 9th century. William Wallace and Robert the Bruce were key figures during the wars of Scottish independence in the late 13th and early 14th centuries. Wallace is remembered for his leadership at the Battle of Stirling Bridge, and Bruce for securing Scottish independence at the Battle of Bannockburn in 1314. James VI of Scotland, who also became James I of England in 1603, was instrumental in the unification of the crowns of Scotland and England, a major milestone in British history. For this video I gathered the raw DNA of two modern ethnic Scots from Scotland. They are HDGP samples. One sample, HG00103, was very high quality with close to 100% coverage. The second sample, HG00105, was lower quality with around 15% coverage. They are part of the Scottish.ho group on Reich's ADR+.ho dataset. This group contains four people in it. Here is what this group scores on an FST run. As you can see the closest ethnicities are all Western and Northwestern Europeans. The Ashkenazi Jews are very distant from them. Going back to the Bronze Age, around half of their ancestry is Indo-European in origin. The rest of their ancestry is split between Anatolian farmer and Western hunter-gatherer. Some people advocate for the idea that the Scots are mostly of Bell Beaker origin, but that is actually not true. The majority of Scottish ancestry is Celtic and comes from the Anetis culture, with only around a quarter of their ancestry deriving from the pre-Celtic Bell Beakers. The Scots even score some corded wear ancestry, which is likely the result of Norse influence. Now let's get into their trait predictor results. Here is HG00103's predicted phenotype. He was predicted to have blue eyes, medium blonde hair, palest skin tone, curly hair, and a snub nose shape. Regarding his dopaminergic profile, he was predicted to be intermediate between warrior and worrier, intermediate odds of autism, was definitely lactase persistent, had higher levels of empathy, higher odds of epithelial cancers, low odds of obesity, and decisively blood type A. He scored high for odds of hemoglobin E disease, primary biliary cirrhosis, male pattern baldness, type 1 diabetes, and testicular cancer. He scored low for odds of AMD, cardiovascular issues, type 2 diabetes, multiple sclerosis, thyroid cancer, and polycythemia vera. He carried rare risk variants for Parkinson's. Now let's move on to HG00105. He was predicted to have blue eyes, reddish blonde hair, palest skin tone, wavy hair, and a Greek nose shape. He was a warrior, had lower odds of autism, intermediate levels of empathy, lower odds of obesity, and an undetermined blood type. He scored high for odds of rheumatoid arthritis, cardiovascular issues, type 1 diabetes, and multiple sclerosis. He scored low for odds of erythema nodosum, polycythemia vera, and allergies. He carried rare risk variants for Fabry disease. You can purchase both their genomes in 23andMe format from the link in description. Thank you for watching, goodbye.